And let's open our friend IntelliJ. So I just need to open up the chat in my phone. Let's open one note. Hmm, don't personalize. Microsoft is really trying to sell stuff lately. In all of their products, they're doing this. Okay, so where are we? We were able to instantiate an empty edit. I want to run. How do I do this? Run a new file. Can I like save? If I go here, can I just save this as a configuration? Application. Ah, main of game main okay all right so now if we are in main or in player we can just do that yes did we not instantiate though because these are still just null uh game board just need to load in all of this in my uh, in my head again wait this is not warcraft rumble did it not update there um Instantiate empty. Yeah, this is what we need to figure out, right? So we have um, new array here, but this array is just full of nulls. Like, how do we? Maybe I need some other type of um, iteration here, like or uh, square, wait, for i int i equals zero, i is below square dot length. Okay, good. There is actually this uh, squares dot length i plus plus reassigned local variable. What? And then we can do squares i equals new square ah your back went out with the doggo yeah yeah i just had a little break how's it going with the game overall now the game i'm uh i'm building yeah it's i mean i'm right now in a state where i'm just playing around a bit uh, with the code but it's fun i'm learning new square So what's wrong with that? I see you have a warrior and a pawn. Yes, exactly. I mean, currently the names say a lot more than the code. 
the code is just, I mean, it's just empty shells right now. But my idea at the moment, I have some like, there should be some like two dimensional terrain, very simple, like a chessboard or something. And you can kind of maybe some goblin. We'll see. Hmm. Is this lagging now? Yeah. And some players that can control the pawns just so I can learn, you know, like about the data structures and, and whatnot, how to make that in code. Oh yeah, we need the braces for the for statement. So what is this then? Ah. Uh, okay. Square. Then let's do new square. Can we do like dot set terrain type here? How did it, did we write it? New grass, okay. Yeah, seems like a good way to start. Basic small contained space, just to see what you can do with movement and so on. Yeah. And then I need to figure out like what time, like how is, like when you have a configuration in this limited space, um, how do you make, like what's the time? Um, will there be like ticks, like a turned base thing? Or if it's real time, will it be like continuous movement or will there still be ticks, but they're just very, very small? Those kind of things I need to uh, think about. Require type square provided void. Oh yes, because this actually doesn't return a square, this returns. void so square squares i dot set terrain type this should be okay and now if i play do i do instantiate yeah it works now we have Grass everywhere. Game set get terrain at position. We can remove that one. I just think maybe it's too much to have one object per square to denote the type unless every terrain type can be changed. Maybe still, since we anyway have one per square, I think it's too much. Let's make it into a enum instead. So the range should be an enum. So we can probably remove uh, terrain all together as a class. Let's move it up to game. Let's delete. Set terrain type, public enum, 
terrain. And then we can do grass for now. And then square. So it's still terrain, yeah, it's still the same type. But now on the board, when we instantiate, we should just be able to do grass, terrain.grass. Yeah. Nice. And now when we play, what do we get? Game.terrains does not exist. Yeah, we can remove this import now. Grass, 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 grass. Nice. This is easier, much easier. Okay, so we have grass, 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 grass. Mm. Let's put out some units now. So we can remove this test we have here. Uh, so in main, the set terrain. What does set terrain at position even do? Word. Get, yeah. It's actually not terrain anymore, it's uh, squares. Get square at position. Wait a minute, squares equals square. So you need to input a square. No, that's not, doesn't make sense anymore, but we're not using it either. So let's remove that. Get full board configuration string. Can we call it maybe state instead of configuration? Oops. Does it still run? Yeah. Nice. So, just check my phone. Um, right. By the way, Fishbad, how is the sound now? Is it like on a good level? I'm trying to find the right level now with the new uh, new, new uh, setup. So I want on the game here to uh, create a new, like put a warrior on the field. So 
Um, how should we store that? Should we have one object per No. Do we need a container for all the NPCs or something? No, not this. Um, pawn equals. No, pawn warrior equals. No, pawn warrior. This dot warrior equals new warrior. Game.player is not public, cannot be accessed from outside package. Oh. Public then. So what's the problem now? Yeah. This.player1. Is the owner. What did we call it in 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 Warrior? Player owner. So why can't I do owner? Whatever. So in the game we have now a board, a player, and a warrior. Should also give it a position. New position and then like one one or zero zero no 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 text position no I want to create my own thing here new class position So it should have int x, int y, this, no, uh, position, int x, int y, uh, this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y. Yeah, so now we need to update the uh, warrior. Or no, we need to update the uh, pawn actually. Or an interface. Let's see. I'm looking forward to start to uh, simulate movement and time in this world. That's gonna be really interesting. <clears throat> A 
and then position position this dot position equals position and then we need to add that here as a field on the pawn position position so you have an owner you have a position uh, yeah provided position but isn't it in okay so it is not in warrior uh, maybe I need to create an interface Do I need, do I even need uh, a separate class for this? I'll use my one note instead of the notepad I have on my desk here. So. Or the pawn can just have like a type I want them to differ in more ways. I think a class is gonna have to be the way. One class for every type. That they can inherit from each other. Let's do it like this for now. Position, position. This dot position equals position. So now, yes. But how does this interact with the board though? Hmm. Because we just have a warrior now who has a position but the board doesn't know about it. Should he have data about where he is? Or should the board have data about where he is? Hmm. I think the board should have that data. Yeah. So, how does he send? No, we need to talk to the board and say spawn pawn at location. And then the board will know. That's how we should do it. Yeah, and that way we don't need to create more fields in game either. So this dot board dot spawn on at location new warrior and and then we give it to player player one. 
desktop layer one and new position zero zero yeah this is better delete we need to fix a few things here let's start with the uh, warrior we can remove position the warrior shouldn't know its position Void spawn pawn at location pawn pawn yeah position position Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has access to position because they're in the same package, I believe. I was wondering why I didn't have to import it. And then we need to call the square at that position. So, it's like... Um, this dot get square at position. Oh, we already have that. What? Do that's great. <laughs> nice. So we can do square square equals this get square at position, and then we give it the position. We're gonna move over to use position uh, type instead of x and y like that. Position, position. Times uh, position dot y. Position dot x. here since we're doing it with iteration we need to do new position x y yeah cool does stuff still work square dot set occupied by on why would i want to remove that no i don't want to remove that spawn pawn at location And I set the pawn's owner in the call, right? Did I? New warrior belonging to the player, yeah. Okay, so what happens if we play now? Yeah, we have a warrior up here now. Nice. And if we inspect, debug this. Oh, 
board has a lot of squares okay this is not stepped over yet yeah warrior terrain type is grass and this square is occupied by a warrior uh it doesn't have a position anymore we need to remove that strength speed and it has an owner id one nice okay so warrior why do you have a position does pawn have a position yeah start debug and step through this board squares terrain no occupied by yeah good owner good nice mm -hmm. so Spawn pawn application. Now how should we move this pawn? Like what can the player do? Let's, by the way, simplify this. Let's, uh, let's just use pawn as a class. No, because if we done, we need the strength and so on. Goblin. And then let's do like one and two instead. And let's also give it a two string method. Can we give that two string method to pawn? I hope we can. That would be ideal if it's possible. String to string. How do we get the class name? Cla get class, get class name. That's all I want. Not the hash. So 
So what's wrong with this now? Do I need to make it public? Yeah. Game pawns dot warrior. Get name. Should I give them an enum in pawns? Yo, G-Man, how are you? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of grass. That's true. It's just like the uh, basic... As I, as I said earlier, like I'm trying to explore how to represent the world in data structures and like then how, how as a player you will be able to interact with it. So at least I've been able to... Uh, to generate or like populate, instantiate the terrain. So let's, uh, to pawn type. Pawn type, pawn type. Create enum pawn type. Yeah. Warrior. Goblin. This dot pawn type equals pawn type warrior. So how did uh, Baldur's Gate 2 go? Pawn type warrior. Hmm. Can we make this some kind of an auto chess type of a thing? I want I want these to be agents that are acting by themselves. Depending on what they have within their vicinity or something. Pawns. Act. By. Themselves. So I can remove the debug here. Let's create a second player. This player two equals new player two. Should give the player a name as well. Player. And then we can call this, let's do zero for the NPC. No, let's call it environment. environment. And then one 
is there. 